Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the special edition of the Breakfast Show. This is Martin Wong here today. And of course, we are on at our 100th episode. That's right. Now, from some of you who've been following me, for those of you uh, been around for the last 100th episode, I think we all deserve a good uh, clap on ourselves, able to go through the last nine months of the market. That's right. The last nine months of the market hasn't been interesting. And that's why we are here to talk about it in our special 100th episode for our breakfast show. So thank you for coming today. And many of you who has been with us, our members and also our top fans, a special congratulate and a really good shout out there and like this uh, live uh, FB and also share this in your timeline. We really appreciate for those of you who come. And today, definitely we have something special to you for our special 100th episode. And let's take a look at it this morning in here. That's right. Now, of course, this uh, 100 episode could not be possible with all without all your support and the constant feedback that I've been getting from many of you how to improve this live FB. And it is. At the end of the day, a live FB show uh, perfectly designed and to help you to navigate through the difficult market that we've been seeing so far. We've gone through thick and thin, but we are here today on the 2nd of August 2021. And uh, you know, if you look back all the time that we have seen so far, I think this is really, really a very interesting period what we've been through so far. And that's what we are here. Uh, to, to talk about it. Okay, let's take a look at what we have for you this morning in our breakfast show. That's right. Now, of course, we're going to be doing a, a fresh relook into our breakfast show. And again, we all know the difference of the week for Monday. Today, Monday will be for the beginners. And we're going to be doing something different to starting from this week onwards. Of course, today, our 100th episode, very, very excited in here to share with you what we have in store for you. And our breakfast show, of course, Usually, we work together with our uh, part, uh, core partner here, Rakuten Trade, for new accounts opening. And if you do open an account with them, you stand a chance to win a 50 ringgit brokerage voucher. That's right. Now, so far, what we have seen uh, in our breakfast show, let's take a look in the morning market roundup. Now, we all know the COVID cases last week continued to break new high and we have not seen a downward trend of the COVID cases as such many of these has also caused the BUSA to trade very, very cautious. But also one of the things is the word of no confidence that we see last week and the parliament has been suspended for two weeks. Last update is due to the uh, parliament cluster perhaps so that is really buying a bit of time for the current premier in here and many uh, challenges ahead for the current government Pakatan. So let's hope that we as a Malaysian able to undergo through this difficult time and see perhaps a new light at the end of the tunnel in here. So right now, let's take a look at the market, which I'm going to be sharing with you in here. And you can see we continue to break lower. So right here, you can see here uh, in this market, market continue to be in the downtrend and notice the three up trust one of the very powerful sign of weakness three up trust one two and three you can let me just show you what i mean here okay uh, let me just bring this up again that's my phone okay and here you have the first up trust it's here right and then the market breakdown second up trust the market breakdown third up trust market breakdown that's how powerful is the up trust so whenever you see up trust in a downtrend market especially in what we call a yellow trend zone that will tell you this market continue to go so the w y s d what you should do is just have to wait for the green pentagon that's all i can tell you all right so this is uh, the the scenario that we're painting in here and of course some stocks continue to do well in this case is tasco a freight forwarder and uh, the expectation is the continue of possible lockdown going to 2021 they are forecasting a very very good uh, uh report here and the earnings let's look at tasco but tasco itself the stock hasn't been a great performer let's look at tasco look at the stock chart and stock comment here and you can see this wise the stocks He's still sort of moving a sideway and uh, if you look at the pinch here and it's kind of support at one ringgit right you can see here one ringgit is the support that we have but 
uh, market try to break higher as it, as it is, then we have the parliament coming about. It, actually, in short, if you do ask me, some of these uh, uh, fundamentally has no uh, take to the overall performance of a company, the what's happening on the uh, political situation, but just that the sentiment, right? The sentiment continue to bear down and that's why we see this. But uh, all things being uh, equal, and you can see that uh, Analysts like the RHP has a buy call at 175. Currently it's $1, so you have another 75 cents in here. Let's look at another one, which is the semiconductor sector. Now the semiconductor sector in here, one of the uh, stocks that in talk in the media today is MMS Venture. Now this is due to the continuing global growth of semiconductors and also semiconductor testing equipment, which we did cover in one of our Wednesday talks. So I hope you check that one out too. And we talk about the continuing demand for uh, chips in here by uh, electric cars, uh, 5G, and also uh, working from home. There are still some, some of us are working from home. I think many of you are. That's uh, those of you who are listening in here. So here we could see uh, the MNFs as being one of the good contender here, MMFs here. Uh, for that and uh, they are recording a double digit growth for this year but let's look at the MMS in here MMS and MMS Venture and if you see from the top side of the chart here just above me in here you can see charts are looking much much better in the uptrend in here uh, you have a breakout very nice uh, we have two up trusts and the takeout of the uptrend now different right when you have up trusts on blue trend zone that's the one you see right that's the one that we talked about last week uh, those of you who came they are not at the right place but later on i'll talk more about this so you can see the uh, line change that you see up there right the lc with the uh, that tells you this market can go a bit high but right now the market has sort of run but we're going to share with you some of the trade that's done very well and we come back and look at the period and a little bit sums up for you in here for our special today 100 episode in here so in this chart you can see mms continue to go up perhaps you want to wait for a better location in here but the analysts do talk about the group order growth okay the group order book right now is 75 percent fill up in here and of course they can go up to about 90 plus that would mean uh the sales will continue and that's why we see these stocks are going up this is just one of the few uh stocks that are going up but take a look at the volume on the yellow trend zone right which we talk about it between in the month of july that's where you see low volume and then we have high volume coming in that's the kind of stocks you know so always pay attention to the green pentagon whenever you see this all right let's move on to our next news is no other than the cpo okay now if you look at cpo continue to hit new high 4300 but having said that uh, a lot of plantations still stuck there not moving up and partly due to the uh, weak sentiment that we see in here it has been ongoing for a while cpo continue high so it's better better to trade the cpo prices in here where you see a lot of waterly and remember get the education also and that's something we teach in our master class and this master class will be for this coming weekend uh a following weekend on the 13th of august and those of you who have not registered for our august 13th you might want to consider it as our mentoring and coaching will definitely help you in that those of you who've been following us for a while and many of our members uh master class members have seen the benefit in here check out our review so far in here of course let's move on over to the u.s side you can see the klsc uh, us sgx roby chart continue to uh do well in the u.s uh the u.s market is still strong no, the, despite the uh covid variant that we've seen uh, let me just bring out the s p 500 chart here uh as you can see in here the market right it's holding up at 4400 level in here and top here hasn't done the green pentagon in yet but this is the market that you want to be and definitely of course this is why one of the key things we always talk about to our members is to focus on the u.s market you have a decision to make where is the fishing pond in here right and uh, of course the fishing pond right now the opportunity is in the u.s market that's the way you want to able to put and diversify it of course smart roby will be here with you uh to and ensure that you understand some of these 
uh, difficulty between the three markets in here, S&P and also SGS market. All right. And of course, let's turn our attention to our 100th episode today. That's right. Now, we first started uh, way back on the 9th of uh, November, 9th of November 2020 and 2nd August, that's how we reached our 100 episodes so far, which is a period of nine months. So what we did was we divided into three segments and intend to report to you some of the highlight of the trade that we have done, right? Of course, the uh, first 9th of November, the beginner's trade level, we were talking about last year, the US election president. And of course, some of these video archive are available on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go over to our Facebook and also look at some of these in here. We were talking about US presidential election and of course, uh, Joe Biden won uh, and, and, and such that uh, the market continued to make upward. And we were already talking about SL West at that time. And uh, then on 5th of May, our second segment uh, started because uh, uh, the second segment started, ended, sorry, the second ended on the 5th of May because we took a period of three months. Episode, uh, episode, uh, Sorry, uh, episode number one to episode 33, okay? And then uh, we go on to episode 33. That's how we divided those uh, segments into three segments, just to, for relevance in here. All right, on the 11th of February to 5th of May is when we did our second segment. So at the end of the second segment, we were talking about uh, GST implementation in here, LC, Titan, and Hector. With well, some of the stock pick, that was an episode 66. Of course, today, what will we talk, be talking about, right? And today we'll be talking about the happening over the last nine months. Now we all started on the left hand side of the chart here. So let me just bring out my uh, pencil in here and be able to draw this. Okay, so we started on the 6 and 9, or around the 6 and 9, you can see that was when the uh, market started to turn green pentagon, and that was a nice green pentagon. The market moved up, but that was where it hits, somewhere mid-December. Okay, that was the high, and that high correspond to around 1680. And right now, we broke, broke through the 1500, and each time the red pentagon is a significant milestone not to tell you where the trend is of course what we have during uh, from the January 2021 onwards huh, the market seems to be going sideways so what we did was we broken into three segments the first the second segment and then the third segment in here and we'll respectively look at some of the trade idea that we have of course let's look at the timeline okay the timeline that we have so far for our klci that we have and uh, coming from where we have november 2020 the number one here number one we have the COVID-19 market recovery. And this is where everybody was bang in, you know, the, the uh, of course, the US tech stocks continued to move very high at that time. And almost everybody is in, the foreign funds is in, but compared to today, it's so different, right? That's where we've seen the COVID-19, where we get the majority of the people in here. Uh, then uh, come to the, the market, the new high, then the interest rate came in and the inflation seems to be coming in. And that's the uh, news that we've seen on the US market. So market fell off. And when you see the red Pentagon in here, did, mar treat, mar did try to make another dip here, but we had the emergency ordinance issued uh, by Argon, right? To, uh, control the COVID cases. At that time, COVID cases were around three to 4,000 in here. Compared to what we have, it's a big difference. From when we started in January, three to 4,000, and now we are about 17,000. Market fell and fell through here. Uh, did not, didn't try to, uh, tr try to rally here, but also failed. You could see the resistance dropped to 1620. And then finally, it dropped to 1580 then drop to 1560. That seems to be the trend. The uh, support has been broken and is going lower and lower. Then we get on to the second segment where the focus was on the implementation. Okay, the end of implementation uh, of uh, 3.0, end of May. But before that, we also have what we call the recovery MCO, where the market was trying to get out. We were around the uh, 3,000, 4,000, and then we broke through 
the 6000 that's where the mco 3.0 came in and that's what you saw so you can see in many ways our klci our busa is really following uh, how the mco implementation is and of course when it comes to the third segment uh, which started uh, in end, uh, beginning of may here right we've seen a lot of foreign funds leaving and right to last friday where the parliament resumed Rem remember right we have the emergency ordinance issued on january 14 or 11th of january and that was supposed to end in first of august okay so it ended just a few days earlier and parliament resumed and now right now we have the motion of no confidence being thrown and right now where we are today uh, the parliament suspended the two weeks due to covid outbreak in here now the market has broken 1500 i do think that it will maintain below 1500 until we see some sort of parliament resumption in here so news certainly not uh, very very uh, good for many of you of course if you're able to follow this this is also important now let's take a look at also uh the foreign funds flows uh that we have for this special 100 episode in here if you look back to 2007 that's where foreign fund was the highest 27 percent and that seems to be going lower and lower and even right now we got more and this is from our trade vsa pro dashboard this is definitely one of the uh, mem uh one of the benefits you know being a, a, a plug-in member or ever as why well, as well as a combo meme here you can access many of our trade vsa pro dashboard so if you're interested in subscribing in here do check out our uh, contact number on the right hand side so you also notice in here the uh, foreign funds continue to leave this is where we are and that's how the market broke through the 1560 level uh, 1575 level the earlier level that i talk about in here as such market did break down so the foreign funds are leaving and that's what we are seeing where we are today if you ask me is the market a good place to uh, busa is a good place to know it had to be very very conditional all right now in terms of conditional this is where we look at the sector comparison now if you're going back to the same time frame okay sector performances are huh? from november 2020 this is where we are you can see tech stocks were the big performer in here tech stocks right now from november uh 4th of november until now it is still up 47 percent the industrial product that's where we see the kgb those are export based uh, ems they are doing 32.2 percent consumer depending where they are which consumer we're talking about some of the travel related uh, and food hasn't done very well klci was 1.7 percent compared to november of course when you compare to january we are down seven percent that's right we are down seven percent in here so the only top three performer were technology industrial and consumer plantation what we talked about earlier right remember cpo prices right we talk about cpo prices continue to hit going higher just now 4300 but look at the cpo prices locally it's not that tells you something is not right about this plantation in here the sentiment is so bearish right now that foreign funds are not coming in and that's that's what we see in here of course we do have the healthcare uh, this is the, the, the counter that we've seen and healthcare has lost almost 30% and plantation minus 11% in here. So take note, know the portfolio that you're having, you need to look at them and where are they? I, I think many of time we have to take stock of uh, the condition. If you do take stock, then your performance is everything. So it is important that you have something to rely on or, or tools like trading views, or tools that we have in our pro dashboard that will tell you you are at the right place at the right direction in here. So make note of it. So do you have those? Ask yourself. If not, is it worthwhile to invest my time and in there? All right. Let's take a look at the overall, the uh, trade vsa chart definition that we have in our smart roby that's the one that you see every day here and i can just show you just up here this chart for example in here and it's very similar to the one that you've seen on the chart on the right side so the the basic of the trade vsa uh, chart is basically it's a candlestick we have the price and volume it, because it shows the emotion the fear and the greed and always it's when the greed comes in 
This is usually where we see this part here in here. That's where the red pentagon comes in. The, unfortunately, many untrained. Now ask yourself, are you a trained trader or a trained investor? If you are untrained, meaning you are learning on your own and you're listening here a bit, listening a bit, many times you are caught by your emotion. When you are the most emotion, where you have the FOMO, F-O-M-O. That's a part you need to be very careful. Time and time again, as a Sifu in here, as a mentor, we condition our student our, uh, to have that knowledge, or at least to remind you the kind of support that we give to make sure you don't get caught into that. But if you were to follow the, the trade VSA chart or the Smart Robbie chart that you see in here, you will eventually be on the right track. So I will show you a video. So if you look from the blue trend zone, this is where we see the bullish uptrend. And then the yellow trend zone is where we see the bear. We have two moving average here, the 20 and the 40 moving average. This is the one that you see here, the 20 and the 40 moving average. Okay, so that's the one it's important to know. Then we have the ATR stop loss. This is the ATR stop loss here, okay? Uh, that's the one that if the market were to break, you want to exit here, okay? And when the market come back, you go in. This is to prevent disastrous stop loss, okay? Prevent disastrous stop loss. Like if you have exited the KLCI, uh, then you'll be fine. The problem is a lot of people, after the market breakdown, they will ask, break down ATR stop loss, should I exit or not? And then it's the part that whether you have a system or don't have a system or you continue to count on your emotion. Now, let me ask you a question. If you rely on emotion so far, have you been successful? Have you been making money? If not, just type it in there, all right? This is important to really understand why some of us do make money, some of us don't make money in here, all right? Now, so far, let's take a look at the, uh, so, so let's take a look at our time frame, our first segment here, okay? The first segment in here will be uh, from episode from episode 1 to episode 33, okay? So that will be the 9th of November to 10th of February. We're going to look at the some of the highlights that we have so far for you, okay? Now, if you look at the, this is again uh, in our trade VSA uh, uh, pro dashboard, you can, definitely can see these are your blue trend zone. You can see a calendar. So the calendar one in here. So this blue trend zone here that you see, correspond to this one here. So it makes it so much easier when you go over to our Trade VSA Pro dashboard. That's the one that we have in here. Then you can correspond the yellow one, all right, to this. Okay, so you can see right at you the time frame. So over the period of four months, right, we only have one and a half month of bullish trend zone. That's right. That's from November to December. And then from January onwards, with a scattered here, just this small period of four days only, all right, the market fell down. That's what we always talk about in our trade VSA uh, trading portfolio system. Those of you who came for our workshop, we gave you those fixed rules. You still remember those fixed rules? All right, always go back to those fixed rules, especially some of you who are members. For our masterclass members, it's important. We keep reminding you. That's why our coaching and our weekly uh, our Friday uh, show that we do and our members follow up. That was important to keep you into, into it. And that's why sometimes, unfortunately, we all fall into our own uh, uh, you know, um, weaknesses. Huh? We are not able to be disciplined and we, that's where we don't do so well. So if you look at here, uh, the market did probably tell you where we are. And uh, you know we only have one month of, a one and a half month of bullish uptrend. When the market is bullish uptrend, that's where we want to make the most of it. So if you look back on the 9th of November, okay, 9th of November for our first episode, we chose uh, the beginner trade idea. Those of you who remember uh, last year, 9th of November in here. And you can see the entry was here, 9th of November, right? And of course, this is your ATR stop loss. If it doesn't break through, we will keep with it. So we will probably exit here and we enter on the next day. So if you look at that, that itself gives a 73% return, 415 days, okay? So 115 days, you run it, which is, uh, this is from uh, what day to what day? To March for 73. So for 5,000 ringgit, you would have uh, hold on to 8,650, and you exit at this point here, okay? At this, at this point, you have gained at least uh, a 70% to 73% per 
profit in there. Instead, how many of you have gained? Some of you have taken 6%, 7%, all right? So it's important that you have a system, whichever system that you have, right? Make sure you follow it and then go back and check on it. Why hasn't you performed and done so well? So if you have followed our Green Pentagon, you have be 73% in the money. Now, the of course, for the similar stock is UWC. In our first episode, remember, uh, we are riding when the weather is good, when the KLCI is good. Now, right now, I'm going to ask you, is the KLCI good or not? Not good, right? So, whatever you buy the stock, what are the chances of making money? Not so good, right? But because sometimes we are so emotional, right? We don't have a plan and then we tend to follow emotion and that's where we get caught. Now, the second stock for the 9th of November, even for our first episode, right, we look at Solar West. Again, Solar West did pretty well in here. Now, these charts, you can go back and look at it, okay? Now, of course, on the Smart Roby, we only show you three months. You want to may want to look at the trading view, and if you don't have a trading view, you probably can see what I see in here and get similar. So, from Solar West in here, you can see uh, that was a 91%. 91%. Uh, uh, profit gain, okay, unrealized, uh, up for 105 days. So that was from 10th of November, because 9th of November, remember? 9th of November, we go in on 10th of November, and we exited on 23rd. That will give you almost a gross profit of 4,500 ringgit in here. Now, how much do you make on SL West? All right, that's also important. You can see it did not break through the ATR stop loss, so we just maintain it, okay? So all this are in the chart. The question is, do you have a trading plan for that or not? All right, so let's take a look at the further down the road on the 28th of December. This was one of the best performance we did was Pekka. Uh, this was the uh, uh, stock trade idea at that time for episode number 18, okay? 28th of December, we have Pekka and Dufu. So you can look from in here, Becca had 166% for 185 days, okay? 185 days in here, and if you look at 5,000 ringgit, becomes a $13,000 uh, uh, size, okay? That's wonderful. And that was for, of course, 185 days. The longer you run your profit, the more uh, profit that you gain. The problem is many uh, beginners, many amateurs, and I think that also happened to you, they run their losses, profit they take fast, why? Because they fall into the FOMO, afraid of missing out or afraid of losing money. All right, and that is one of the biggest challenges many beginners must overcome in here. If you do overcome that, this possibility uh, of 166% return may be yours one day in here. Let's look at example number four. For the first segment during the same time frame on the 28th of uh, December in here again same episode this was the time frame that we went okay again, again uh, not all trade makes you can see in here we we went in on the 29 right and then the market broke through the ATR stop loss we had a 4.3 percent loss 4.3 was a smaller for only 10 days that's that's why you notice right if the trade don't work out well you will hit your stop loss very fast. And that's where you want to cut loss. But some people say, never mind, I wait, I wait, I wait. And that's where a lot of problem. Of course, the most difficult part, if we didn't, you enter. The market went up 8.4% in three days. And then you still need to cut loss. This is where we talk about the psychology, right? Smart Roby can point you to the right trade, but it is your emotion that is important that you must able to control, right? No doubt, you're already in the money, but somehow when you're in the money, and you give the money back, how would you feel? Very painful, isn't it? And that's what many amateurs have this uh, weakness or these challenges to overcome. The sooner you overcome this, they will be much, much better in here. All right, so it's only a for small loss. Now let's take a look on January 11. January 11, Supermax came out, okay? Supermax came out and uh, you would see in here, okay? So Supermax came out. Uh, we also have to cut for Supermax in here. You can see uh, on the 11th of January, okay, the trade idea came for episode number 22, Supermax. So we enter this here on the opening. And as such, you can see the market uh, then break through the ATR stop loss, right? And when we broke through the ATR stop loss, okay, we need to cut because we lost a 23% in 41 days. But if you did not cut loss, right, and you notice from the 
22nd of February onwards, right until here. Okay, this is where some people don't want to cut loss, or even there's a chance for you to cut it here, you can and probably break even. But if most people they won't cut loss. Lah. If you don't cut loss, then you will have sustained another 40% down drawdown. That's right, another drawdown of 40%. So a lot of people also tend to be very biased. They will only buy one or two stocks, and that's why it is so difficult for them to make money. The choice are fairly, fairly obvious. I've seen this time and time again. Again, make sure this don't happen to you. All right. Let's take a look at our second segment in here, our top trade ideas. And uh, that was a time where we have the phase three RMCO, the recurring MCO. So the market was trying to find its way, was trying to go up and, and, and then the cases uh, uh, also grew again and the market came back down. So you can see a period uh, of uh, some movement. We can see this green, uh, sorry, uh, green pentagon with blue trend zone, and then you alternated by yellow trend zone in here. So that was the start of MCO 3.0 sometime in May. Let's look at some of the trade. At that time, on the 5th of April, episode 51, we selected K Power. Uh, you can see here, 5th of April is somewhere here. We selected somewhere, uh, let me just show, yeah, we selected somewhere here, okay, here. And uh, of course, K power when we broke through the ATR stop loss, we exited with a minus 5.4%. That's 25 days. Okay. And at that time K power, we all know server dynamics, isn't it? Before the uh, big audit that they, they, they came out, the big fiasco in here, it was better to cut loss with K power. There was a lot of story about K power, but you could also see all right the up trust. Every time when you see this up trust, uh, be very careful. And when you see up trust break down, you need to chabot. Okay. Of course. Uh, if you have cut and followed the ATR stop loss, you would have uh, in 24 days, okay? And uh, you would have avoided the 60% until today, the K power. Uh, that's that's until 30th of this, uh, July here, you can see. You could have avoided the 60% uh, worst case uh, uh, of drawdown or losses if you applied to your stop loss in here. That's for the K power, okay? Now let's look at the uh, idea number seven for 5th of April, uh, which is the great tag you can see in here. Uh, this is a trade that we did 5th of April, right? You can see uh, we will a uh, 12%, no doubt, great tag, even technology stocks, we have to cut also. So we cut through here, we enter here, that is a 12% and it's for 36 days, okay? So you can see, if we do run the profit, of course, we can only run the profit when there is a trend behind it, right? If there's no trend, very difficult. So right, right now, you can see behind it. So you can see that that is a minus 12% for 36 days. Okay, now we go down to our third segment here. Third segment, which is our most current, it started on the 2nd of May until today, the 2nd of August. So we've seen the, the three months that we've seen. We've seen foreign funds already leaving uh, uh, when we broke through this 1560 in here. And then the more recent, the resumption of a parliament and also the possibility of vote of no confident table by the opposition leader. Uh, Anwar uh, Ibrahim, right? So we can see this market will stay below the 5,600, uh, sorry, uh, 1,500 level in here. And uh, so far, uh, we picked KGB, okay? KGB was the 16th of June, episode 80, okay? Episode 80, and you could see this is the 16th of June. So we, we were late, actually, you could think of it, if you pick somewhere around here, right? So that's why it's always good to pick the uh, green, green, Pentagon when it first started. We picked this uh, this trade idea back on the 16th of June. You can see the market did not touch through the ATR stop loss. And we are still in pretty much in the money uh, with the high of 19% for the last 42 days. All right, 42 days. And of course, your 5,000 ringgit will be close to about 6,000 ringgit in here. And also JF tag for episode 16 of June. Uh, we, we have this. Uh, it's pretty much uh, unchanged, almost minus zero point. We are still, you know, you know, in the midst of going up or going down. We're not really sure. So, uh, with JF Tech, as I said before, the tech stocks uh, didn't hit through the ATR stop loss that we had, so we maintain. All right, and that's about a uh, one percent over the last forty-three days. Of course, not like what we saw last year uh, when we have that big move uh, uh, of the COVID recovery from November to December uh, twenty twenty. Okay, and uh, number eleven. 
uh, the some of the trade idea that we did this is uh, on the 14th of July episode number 92 uh, we have penta we have hecta and hecta was this level in here uh, when we uh, remember 14th of July so we went in on almost here 15th of July of course if you have gone in here will be much better you're already in the money in this case hecta we, we we still had about a 14 percent move from where we had of course if we added this would definitely be more that was for only six days huh? hecta uh, chemical base and there's some movement in here so all in all uh, a video tutorial that i did last wednesday and those of you who want to know what are those criteria we look at so check out this video for more information how to select stock that is ready to move higher for pentagon guider in here so this is what we want to cover and of course let's talk about the summary that we have so far for the three segment that we did 6th of november until today definitely the first segment in here is that you must have a trading plan don't buta buta go in and have an entry and exit and use the trade vsa tools the dashboard that we recommended or use the smart roby uh, uh, apps in here have something now remember profits are made by running your profits okay run your profit and cut your uh, losses fast remember the case we did just now like k power and and uh, and uh, what's that uh, k yeah k power was the one and also for supermax was a possible minus 40 percent and a 60 percent in here now make your profit when the profit when the weather is good right that is another point here which i want to talk about because this is where you see the trend when you have blue trend zone okay and you have the green pentagon on the klci that's the one is going to be making money third look at the overall index which i talk about in here if the klci index is bullish you are in the trend and better with hot sectors now no choice as i said before some of you right now the klci is downtrend but only technology sectors and industrial products are the one moving up so those are your stocks that you want to be in because then your win rates will be better because you are in the uptrend and not the downtrend now remember as i said before if you want to have a good win rate means winning more then you need to have the trend in your favor else you're trading against trend now of course many of our amateurs uh, members and managers public in here fall into this mistake again and again i know it's difficult because the emotional impact is so high or you have a small account that you cannot cannot uh, uh, cut loss and that's why you're holding a losing trade now if you're losing in a trade it is possible that you cannot win anymore right this is the most common one and no point crying over spoiled milk and especially many of you as i said before like to average down on losing trade and then you end up losing more that is definitely a no no get the right method get into this right trade and then finally have some sort of mental way to deal with the emotion that you have running a profit and cut your losses definitely coaching and mentoring is the right way with the right tools in here because that is where money and time involved if you have that then you have stand a chance in here so all in all we tell our members in here invest in knowledge okay very important F find a system that works for you if you don't have any system use the smart roby system that we have that will simply definitely help you as i show you before in here invest in a mentorship always learn from the best in the industry and then third invest in the community in our trade VSA, we have a Telegram chat room, which is very vibrant. A lot of discussion in here. This is where we support and learn from ourselves. And also many of it is our Zoom session that we do together with our members. Huh? Remember, those of you who are members every Friday, every Saturday, and also the last two weekend, we have our one day workshop. And those of you who have not joined us, maybe this is a time that you upgrade your skill and learn to invest in yourself rather than doing it by yourself think about the amount of extra uh, investment that you make think about like what we talk about peka right the uh, thirteen thousand dollars in here that's also important why haven't you done this is something you want to think about because i also feel that either we grow and change or we die that's also important. i've learned this long time ago that is why we are constantly always updating our tools updating our course and always giving you good good information in here okay and of course our past leaderboard we continue to highlight to you where we are and this week all right we're going to talk about the stock that we pick up 
last week, remember? And the trade idea continued to win-win. Okay, let me just bring this up for you. SL West. Okay, SL West has pulled back. And uh, what's the other one? The other one is KESM. Okay. KESM. KSM has gone much, much higher in here. You can see uh, 26 of uh, July, yep, we picked this one and uh, then we have another 8% move. We have another 3% move, almost a 12% move here. So you can see from this example that we have, huh? right? Uh, SLOS is up 17% and KSM is up 19.8%. Of course, JF Tech, we just review. It is pretty much the same. So right now it's again, like what we talk about in the summary. Just go with the hot sectors, okay? And again, a lot of people tend to hold on. Huh? Remember, they hold on to their losses. They're not willing to cut loss. Or more importantly, they're not willing to invest in themselves. This is very important. Investing in knowledge, it will make a big change like what I did a long time ago. I was just like you. But once I make that move, you can see how well all uh, our members and ourselves have done with that, okay? So let's take a look at the uh, stock trade idea for this week, 2nd of August, episode number 100. Okay, episode number 100, we continue to uh, give out those uh, trade idea in here. Definitely ADA, IMS. Okay, this is the one, hasn't made much move yet. So we have to be very patient. Remember, early on we see, uh, we already mentioned, right? Right now, if you don't even... Uh, invest it's fine or trade because why the overall market hasn't been that great okay let's look at KIP okay KIP has moved up after the green Pentagon in here to 85 cent again they're doing a lot of commercial REITs warehousing and I think that's gonna be good all right so those are the two trade idea of course we, we have a chance next week we'll come back and review like what we did last week with SL West and KESM, which has done pretty well. Two also uh, have double digit in here. Now remember, every Monday I'll be doing trade idea with Pentagon. But Pentagon, you can see from here, it's available to you every day. Okay, every day you can get Pentagon. That's that's the one you got it from. All right, just use if it, and for those of you who are uh, first time with us, use this to your advantage. Okay, use this to your advantage as I've shown you the trade records that we've seen so far all right okay so going forward uh our update for our portfolio we are up about our whole portfolio we are up just slightly below 10 percent in here right as i said before this portfolio started in january not in november so if we started in november then i think the portfolio will be better of course we want to do a full year cutout that's why we only have them. So it's important. That's why we always constantly need to follow the market, right? And stay away from the market when you need to. Again, have a plan, have a strategy, right? More importantly, invest your time in having a system that works for you in here. Of course, coaching and mentoring do helps in here, like what we normally do in our shows in here. Uh, this is one of those tutorials in here. If you have not watched it, go ahead and watch it in here. And of course, this is something that we're very proud of is our Trade VSA 3-Day Masterclass, our August intake. And of course, on the right-hand side, there's some information for intake 13. And those of you who have joined us early on in our June intake, you can come back and re-attend our three-day masterclass, right? Absolutely uh, no uh, no charge at all through our Zoom session. So that's really one of the big, big benefits for being a member of our master. We continue to update our education material. We continue to update our tools. Then you're able to see the kind of profit that, that we have. And remember, this market is not going to be down all the time. We are also looking at the US market in here. And US market, those of you who are in early already making money right just like me in here and that's the way we want to do remember the fishing pond analogy if there's no fish in one pond we go to another fish and our three-day masterclass is a full emphasis on the US market side in here and of course those of you who want to know a bit about US we have the S&P 500 in here take you through that right so right now uh, we're going to be doing some stock review uh, for our 
top fans and also for our members. Now, one of the things that I usually do in here, just to get us make sure uh, we know you better, when you ask, state your stock code, please state your, uh, your profession, right? And also your, if you're a premium member, just state that you're premium members and that let us uh, get to know you better. I, I think a, a good start is to know your profession, where you are, okay? Okay, if you want us to review your stocks, do pencil in there. There's a question in here from Amil. Uh, do state your profession, uh, Amil. Okay, what do you think of the ESGC in PLC and plantation? Okay, uh, if you state, if you want me to answer your question, please state your profession. Okay. Uh, Lahi is asking not five days anymore, Monday, Wednesday. We got Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Okay. Uh, Ui wanted me to review on Great Tech in Nari. Of course, please state your uh, profession. All right. And then I'm happy to review them. Okay. So this is the new uh, order of things that we want to do. Okay for me to get you know okay uh, Wong are you a member Wong please state your profession and next to you is a stock okay your stock code and your profession or if you are a premium member then I will help I will review it okay uh, we haven't seen anyone stated they are okay Ui is retired that's right okay let's Ui is retired Okay, let's look at uh, Inari. Inari is still okay. As I said before, above the ATR stop loss, no problem. Great Tech also same thing. Okay. Above the the Green Pentagon, this one's still okay. Is it still in the hot hot zone in here? All right, we got Michelle here. We got a plug-in member WCT. Thank you, thank you for those of you who want me to review. Okay. Uh, WCT okay WCT not good lah just be careful the ATR stop loss okay you can see markets going down trend in here if it's able to hold you want to hold it if it's broke as you can see here when you broke through the ATR stop loss it's time to go okay uh, it's it and, and again remember you know constructions, properties, WCT will not fare so well. Okay, we have uh, Hazik Razak. Sure, you're the student. That's right. It's also good. Then I know the background where you are and how we can help you. Thank you. Thank you again for stating your profession. If you are a, a, a premium member or plug-in member or combo member, please state that too. Okay, then we have the DNEX. Okay, DNEX uh, red pentagon couldn't go higher. So just be careful. So this stocks is not really going to move higher here. Okay. So something that you want to learn about charting, learn about understanding the volume, something you want to consider will be definitely our August intake. Uh, that's what the one uh, that we helped you. But you can see from here, uh, Red Pentagon already coming out. Already. It hasn't broke through the ATR stop yet. So this stock is not ready to move any higher. Uh, one of the reasons why you can see also is the diminishing volume. Okay, we have uh, Wong here. It's a premium member. You want me to review M? Uh, of course, Wong. Thank you. Okay, uh, this one looks good. Uh, MI Technology is one of the portfolio. I think one of the stocks we picked up right earlier on for our trade idea. Yes, yes, I think so. I just can't remember which episode only. Uh, I think we picked up around here. Uh, today, jump 4% in here. Yeah, this one is fine. I think earnings is coming up. Remember, all the tech stocks are doing well. Right. Okay, then we have uh, Mel is an executive in here, uh, Lion Industry. Okay, Lion Industry, you got Green Pentagon here, you got Uptrust, so you have to be careful, right? Uh, still above the ATR stop loss. And again, if it is not technology, many of them will really struggle, right? They have to follow the big brother. And right now, as I said before, the sentiments for Malaysia is not so good. Okay, we have Eddie here. 
uh, who is a property agent and uh, looking at front can okay red pentagon already coming out okay i think they they have a earnings and the earnings was not fantastic you got red pentagon so just be careful uh you're still above the atr store loss you can still hold on to it uh okay Okay, we have Amel here, Trade VSA. He's only a Telegram member and swing trader. Okay, Pentagon follower, but he is not a plug-in member, part-time trader. Okay, uh, the ESG issues with regards to it, the factor, the foreign fund. I, I personally don't believe, uh, if, if you ask me, that the foreign funds are investing in ESG. Uh, it's basically secondary uh, to me. Of course, if you're talking about the bigger uh, foreign funds, that is from U.S., then the rub the healthcare would definitely be an issue with the uh poor condition in here but overall also don't forget some of the sensitive things that a lot of the economists they don't talk about is the political situation right uh we all know no, uh, market doesn't like uncertainty when there's uncertainty uh that is you can see some other esg issues also done well you look at cannabis okay uh which have done pretty well too so that doesn't seem to have a big problem too that's that's how i see it in here but overall uh, a lot of foreign fund is shunning away from our market is because of the geopolitical reason in here okay all right just going to look through to see any more of uh stock trade idea and those of you want me to review any question you want me to ask Okay, if there's no more, uh, we, will, we will stop right in here. And uh, definitely this coming uh, Wednesday, we'll be doing another special live FB will be our masterclass. Our masterclass preview this Wednesday for the 13th of August. Those of you who are interested, uh, do join us for our Wednesday masterclass, uh, our masterclass preview for our 13th of august intake and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube in here and do join us for our telegram chat room for all free information that we have and we have celebrated our 100 episode in here and thanks to your support so far to our the public to our members of our trade vsa and to the community in here give us a feedback how we can improve our show and bring it to you better each time that we see and remember we're always reinventing ourselves to make our courses our tools more and more relevant so you will benefit greatly from our research and our involvement right in doing more than what you see today we definitely will get better invest in time invest in yourself thank you again i'll see you later i'll see you on wednesday bye bye